Hey guys and girls, and welcome to another Retro Mini TV game stream. Last time we uh, went through the uh, first 100 games, although not the first actual 100 games, just the first uh, 10 pages of games, and I decided let's finish off the last 10 pages of this game, you know, get some practical, um, uh, well, not really practical, but um, whole, whole um, coverage of this thing, you know, we'll go through the, uh, went through the first 10 pages, let's go through the last 10 pages. Alright, uh, and as much like the last stream, I'm going to pick the first game, and then I'm going to leave it up to um, everyone else to decide uh, one game, or maybe one or two games, from the uh, next nine pages. So I'm going to choose a game from here, and for some reason, Good Hand is, um, it is, um, Good Hand is, is, is talking to me. That and Panzer Flycar. So I'm going to play those two for a little bit. And we'll see if they're any good. Probably not, but you never know. And look out, it's Rob from Team Hubnob. He's live on a stream for once. Hmm. How you doing, Rob? Oh, no. I've got to go back. There we go. Right. Good Hand. Have you ever... Did you ever see my uh, video last... Uh, my last video of this thing, Rob? Right, so this is good hand, and we got ourselves a uh, motorbike uh, game of some description. It looks like I'm collecting chrysanthemums whilst avoiding. Uh, I'm not sure what those things are, and there's a little girl up there. Those little alien blob type things, and they explode my motorbike. That's not very good, right. I'd like to think that perhaps maybe that little girl I need to rescue. This kind of uh, probably makes me feel like th this could be based off of um, Flicky, but that's really a far out there guess. Oh! Oh, I can shoot! Oh, that's handy, Andy. Okay, did I rescue that girl or did I knock into her and send her flying? This game is weird. Uh, you know you didn't see the first part. Oh, well that's alright then, they're not, um... It's not wholly necessary to have watched the first part. So they're pretty independent of each other. But get ready for some, um... Uh, it's some interaction later on down the stream. It's the weirdest version of Excite Bite I've ever seen. This is the weirdest thing ever. Because I, I don't even know if I'm rescuing that girl or not. This is weird. <laughs> Alright, okay, so that was uh, that was good hand. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what I was meant to do with that, but... Hey ho, diddly do. Right. Next game, we got. I'm going to have a go at a Panzer fly car, because I very much doubt it's going to be anything to do with Panzer Dragoon, but you never know. This looks really basic. Yeah, basically, Rob, the premise is I've got this... I don't know if you saw my pickup video, but i got this little device here. It plays 200 games, and in the last video, we found some NES clone games on here. Oh, this might be the demo sequence. There we go. <laughs> Oh, okay, that's the, uh... Okay, right, now we've got control. Yeah, this is, again, one of those sort of, uh... Racy kind of titles where you just gotta sort of keep going and make sure you collect fuel. I did, um... I, I can't remember if I remembered what game this was based off of last time, but... What if it was, I've actually forgotten it again. So... No, 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 no! Oh, fuck! Uh, this one is like a shite F-Zero. <laughs> it does a little bit. So obviously the green ones, they're just gonna stay the course, whereas the gold ones, they're gonna, they're gonna try and make you a bad, they're gonna try, try and make your day bad. But I'm not gonna make them make my day bad. Right, obviously that. Oh no! Can we try and control ourselves? Yeah, boy. 
I think you've literally got to take the entire width of the track in order to not actually skid. Oh, you son of a bitch! To not actually skid out into the uh, into the side and probably lose a life. Although I don't think you got lives. It's all just based on how much fuel you have. So if I can maintain fuel, I might actually. Nope, don't you dare. You, you bugger off now. Yeah, the red ones want to ruin your day as well. Where the green ones are like, nah fam, I, I'm, I'm just going to stay here if that's alright with you. See, I try and stop, and it doesn't quite work. I try and stop and uh, uh, steer away from, ah, the end. Ooh, have I got enough fuel to reach the end? Because that looked like I was getting quite close. Oh, this is going to be clutch. Yeah, boy! Ch -ch 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 checkpoints. Hmm. So I'm really interested in finding out what um, games were on the last ten pages. Oh fuck! I was meant to go already. How the hell am I meant to get past that? Am I meant to? This is no bad. How the hell was I meant to get past that? I've kind of probably had to have lured him away. Oh come on! I mean, I don't mind difficulty in games, but that just takes a piss. <laughs> oh, shite. <laughs> oh, no. Come again, and that's a checkpoint. Was that what that was from? Ch -ch 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 checkpoint. Or am I just not? <laughs> Or you just happened to mention Carmage the Carmageddon and I so I haven't played Carmageddon in ages. How you doing, Gingerbread Legs? Welcome to a uh, shitty um, NES clone game stream. <laughs> oh no, I ran out of fuel. <laughs> yeah, will there be? No, there won't be any kind of cannon on this stream. I'm just having a bit of a laugh with um, my little retro games controller device. Right, I've selected the first two games. Now it's up to you guys to select the rest. So what we're going to do. Here's the next page. We've got Air Alert, Awful Rushing, Aimless, Burbles, if you like, Bow Explorer, Bugs War, back Baccarat, Baccarat your baby, <laughs> and Baseball New. I'm going to leave it up to you guys to vote on what one you want. Go for it! Guys, it's all very well me picking one, but now let's see what you guys want to see as well. And we've been lucky, and we got lucky in the last stream, so. Uh, played the N64 port, which is terrible, but the fun can You know, I, I've got the N64 version and the um, uh, PlayStation original version, and I, I have played the PC version, and naturally that is the better version, because you actually kill people as opposed to zombies. But I can't remember if PlayStation N64 4 version were actually really any good. Right, Jeffrey wants to see Burbles. So we've got one for Burbles, <laughs> just because of the name. And why not? I, I play the games based on the names. Anyone else want to see anything on this page, or are we good with Burbles? Ah. Baccarat. I want to see what that's all about. I might choose that actually if we uh, if we just get burbles on this page. Hmm. I tell you what, while you guys are probably thinking about it, I'll just uh, have a quick look at burbles. See what that's all about. Hope you picked a good one for me, Jeffrey. Looks like some sort of uh, uh, army type situation. Oh, that's that's good. Okay, do we need to catch? Can we catch these, or do we? Are we fine? Yeah, we've got some health there, so that's good. Okay, I'm not meant to let them land. <laughs> They didn't look antagonistic at all, so... 
You can switch the car, uh, the jeep around for god knows what reason, or you can't do it while you're... Right, so we're just shooting army guys down from the, uh, from the sky. Okay, so this is sort of, sort of like a shit army version of Space Invaders, or Xavius. Whichever you like. Checkpoints one in the announcer quotes, yeah. Uh, it's been a hell of a long time since so I've played up again, so I'm just gonna have to, uh, excuse me, calm again, so I'm gonna have to take your word for it. Okay, the car moves quite slow. Yeah, it does move slow, doesn't it? Uh, Alright, of course, Rob's gonna go with a uh, Le Baseball. I know you like sports, Rob. Very much aware that you like sports. Sports, 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 sports. Da -da 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 -da. <coughs> I think, once you get the hang of it, which, let's be honest, it's not gonna take very long. Well, it kinda reminds me of Missile Command as well, actually, now I think about it. So, yeah, uh, but, uh, once you get the hang of it, which won't take long at all, uh, yeah, this, I assume, is it? I don't know if this is going to be just a, a, a whole level of this. Guy got away. Kind of reminds me of Operation Wolf, even though this game is uh, nothing like it. Oh, I'm on stage two. Yay. Let's hope it offers a bit more challenge. Yeah, because I'm going to take down a plane with a pistol, aren't I? Okay, I think they're getting faster. I like the sound of the jeep. I'm gonna have to let that guy fall. Well, that's uh, <laughs> this pretty much is all it seems to be. I don't think it's gonna get any. Well, it will get a little bit higher, but I don't think it's gonna get any more. Um, uh, interesting. <laughs> I don't think it's going to get any more challenging. I don't think it's going to get uh, throw any more taxing obstacles in the way. Let's change direction, shall we? Oh! Right, I can't change direction whilst I'm moving, which is a shame. Oh no, I'm going to have to let that. I'm have to let him fly away. I can only get. I can only allow one more to to land. According to my laptop, my battery's running low. Yay! Have to plug that in quickly. I was meant to plug in my laptop before I started the stream. So hopefully the battery stays alive. Yeah, there we go. We can maintain the stream. Whoop! Right, well that's uh, that's burble. Well done, Jeffrey. <laughs> Let's see, Rob wants to go with baseball new. Let's find out how what's so new about it. Oh, look at that happy fellow. Throwing a baseball in my face. Uh, am I controlling this at all? Apparently so. Oh, no, I wasn't meant to press reset. Whoops, a daisy. Rob, I think you may have picked a poo game. Yeah. Right, let's try that again. I mean, I played some, um, a couple of baseball games on the, on the Famicom, and they're like, they're not too bad. At least I kind of know that I'm... Oh, okay, I'm playing as the, uh, playing as, uh, playing as the, uh, pitcher. Okay. All right. Um... Weird. <laughs> uh, have fun with it. Are you having a laugh? This, 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 this is just not. What is this? This is absolute bollocks. <laughs> No, I'll try and uh, I'll try my best. I 
which I think I'm slowly getting the hang of it. I think. Just a little bit. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get to it in time. Okay, well, I, I kind of got the hang of it now. Also, I've got to work with no instructions. Oh, he's throwing the ball. Oh. Uh, you want to find that Mario baseball game that made it here? Oh, what you mean uh, Mario Strike? Not Mario Strikers, what am I about? Uh, Mario baseball. I can't remember what it was called, fuck. I've got it because I bought it at a game station a, a few years back and it was still reasonably priced at the time. I, I, I sh should have got them two out, surely, right? Oh, yeah, I got one out. Whoop! And it took me a while. Why did you just throw it over there? Mario Super Sluggers. Uh, that's, I believe, the... Wii U, uh, the Wii version, not the uh, the GameCube one, I don't think. But okay, I don't know what's going on here. I can't control anything anymore. Okay, next page. <laughs> I think it may be Mario Superstar Baseball, actually, now that I think about it. Yep. Uh, Superstar, yeah, it's Mario Superstar Baseball. That's the GameCube one. I knew it was one or the other. Actually, no, I knew it wasn't Super Sluggers. <laughs> do, 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 the GameCube version was... Yes, it was, Rob, because I've got it. And, and it is the uh, PAL version. Ugh. There we go. Right, we are on the next page. Right, guys. we got Bubble, Boxes, Coast Guard, Cup Adventure, Depth Bomb, Devil... Dom B Doom, Devil Doom Doom. Um, wow! Thank God I'm not drunk. <laughs> Diamond and June War. John, you still here? So what are you guys thinking? Leave <laughs> a message after they beep. Boop. Where do you buy it? You buy it on eBay for seventy pounds. <laughs> Give or take. I want to have a look at Baccarat actually, didn't I? Yeah. So let's uh have a little look at that quickly. Oh, it's Baccarat. I'm just saying that I've I'd, I'd heard of the word the name Baccarat, but I didn't really um didn't really uh twig that it was a card game. Okay. All right. Well, I'm not overly keen on card games, I'm not overly good at them either. Uh, right, Jeffrey wants to go with uh, Cub Adventure. Not a problem. We'll have a little look at that. Let's we'll see if that's an interesting type game. Do, 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 do. Uh, okay, yeah, I'm this little dude here. I'm assuming I've probably got to collect these pink heart things. <coughs> and you know Baccarat from Rush Hour 3. Okie dokie then. Right, so I've got to avoid the polar bear and the seals whilst at the same time collecting little hearts. So we've got ourselves a kind of like um, a kind of North Pole kind of um, Pac-Man going on here. I'm assuming they're antagonistic as well, so I'm not gonna try to um, <laughs> go near them. The music's quite quaint. Ah, oh, bollocks! So I thought if I collected the last one, that would end the level, and I don't have to worry about running into the uh, the seal. But obviously, that's uh, that's not the case. Right, so one more time. Yeah, the only affordable copies are the US ones. Yes, they are, because that's, that, that's where it's abundant. So if you really want uh, Mario base, uh, Superstar Baseball, and you don't want to pay a premium for it, you best to get the NTSC version. Don't get the PAL version. I mean, I was lucky. I found it in a game station for 19.99 because uh, that's when the uh, 
uh, the GameCube wasn't new then, and, and uh, it was... Hooray! You can say the Wii was out at the time as well, so I think GameStation were having a GameCube clear out. And I think they had a rough idea how much uh, uh, Superstar Baseball was. And uh, yeah, that's pretty... They priced it down, priced it to that much, which, as far as I'm concerned, was reasonable. So I was like, you know what, I'm having it. You know, I'm not the biggest fan of baseball, I will admit, because... Well, not because... Uh, well, actually, no, yeah, because, you know, we don't really watch it over here. And, um, I, I don't mind playing it. I mean, I played rounders and softball at school. So, it's not like I'm unfam completely unfamiliar with the game. Oh, and that's where the, uh, the, the, the escape helicopter is. <laughs> Sorry I left, I was taking a shower. We all need to shower, dude. We all need to shower. Okay, so far, of all the games that I've played today, this evening, this is actually quite pleasant. I, uh, I quite like this one. It's not too bad and he's not moving. Oh, no. I'm, am I actually a snowman? Oh, game over. Well, that's pooey. Is there a level select on this game? <laughs> I tell you what, let's do that again. I actually enjoyed that. Uh, thinking of getting a North American Wii. That wouldn't be the bad idea. I mean, personally, I'd probably get a uh, a Japanese Wii because I'd imagine there's a lot more um, uh, exclusive games out there versus uh, North America. You right, Tom? How you doing? Welcome to shitty 8-bit stream. <laughs> Sorry, shitty 8-bit games stream. It's a shame there's a uh, there's no sound effects in this, but it is what it is. You know, I paid four quid for this, so I'm pretty much getting what I paid for. I always, always believe in that um, in that little saying: you get what you pay for. So yeah. Although that has been said, you know, we've got a handful of quality NES titles on here, so <laughs> seemingly better quality than the. Uh, oh no, I better not go down. So I've got to go back up again. Seemingly better quality than the. Uh, the N ah, oh, bollocks. The NES Mini. Thank you, AVG. I know I've only got a few days left on my trial. Thank you very much. Alright, we'll go to the uh, last life and then we'll, uh, we'll move on. Yeah, not doing too bad, Tom. Uh, like I say, if you're going to stick around the stream, we're going to uh, we're just uh, just choosing what games uh, are going to be played on here and I'll just uh, play around with them for a few minutes, see if uh, there are any on here that are any good. Uh, so far, this one being the only one. Ah! Okay, these seem to follow a pretty predetermined pattern. Because the polar bears go in, in circles. And the two seals here are going up and down, left and right. And that seal down there is going left and right as well. So, it's just a case of, well, timing. There we go. Okay, I've, I've worked this game out already. Fantastic, or... Uh, my NES Mini won't turn on anymore. Um, are you using the same uh, power adapter that you've always used for it? Because uh, I sometimes have trouble uh, not getting it to switch on. That's not usually the issue. But I usually have problems with um, getting the sound to come out. Um, it works 100% of the time on my missus's TV. But it doesn't work. It works like 10% of the time on my TV. Her TV is actually a lot newer than mine. Mine's like one of the um, the earliest kind of flat TVs. So that's probably something to do with it. Well, I did theorise that it was probably... Because the NES Mini... Let me just have a look at the, uh, the bottom for a second. Because it's literally right in front of me. Like behind my laptop on top of my PS4. Uh, yeah, the NES Mini takes doo -doo -doo -doo, 5 volts of power. And I'd been using an adapter that pumps out about 3.5 volts. So I initially thought that was that to start off with. And um, yeah, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. so I changed it to a 
5 volt um, adapter, then that didn't solve the issue. So I don't know. That could be the issue with you, I'm not entirely sure. You're just not pumping enough power into it. Uh, don't ask me to pick a game. We're trying to find someone to play since 8 o'clock this morning. That's alright, that's alright, Tom. You don't have to play anything on here. I just need you to choose something from a list, you know. It'll be fine. Uh, finished Resident Evil 4 and it was brilliant. Of course it was brilliant. It's Resident Evil. Up until 4. Right, what page were we on? We was on this page, right. Uh, anyone who has just popped in? Um, we've had um, Cub Adventure already, so that's that's gone. we got Bubble Box... On this page, we've got Bubble Boxes, Coast Guard, Depth Bomb, Devil Dom, Doom, Diamond and June War. So if there's anything you guys want to... Fancy looking at just based off the name alone. F throw it out there and I'll uh, I'll pick it. Uh, I still use the adapter was included with it. Oh, did you get one? Uh, did you get an official adapter then? Hmm. Okay, Tom wants to pick bubble. No worries. So it could. Be your TV as well. It's everything like properly connected up. Because I know sometimes HDMI can be a bit um, iffy if it's literally not right in the socket. Bubble! Please let this be a bubble bubble clone. Please. Oh, it's the same fucking game as the army game. Only this time I'm attacking Pokemon fish. It looks like Meowth's head. And I'm I was over yeah, I was over for Bubble Bubble as well. And obviously to replenish my life I have to shoot goldfish. And this helicopter submarine thing. I'm just going to call it the SS Esperanto. Massive uh, props to you if you understand the reference. It makes the same noise as the uh, the Jeep. But hey, at least this game has sound effects. All right, we'll do the first level and then we'll we'll move on because we already know what this game's all about. There we go, it's stage two. I think it was, um, I actually think it was Malk in the last stream, Tom, that, uh, told me in no uncertain terms, you do realise some of these are going to be, like, copies of each other. And to be fair, it looks like we're sort of, like, heading into that territory. Uh, now the problem is I press the switch and the system won't turn on. Hmm, that's really weird. Um, you haven't tried to, um... You haven't tried to hack it, have you? So I think you could probably easily brick it if you don't hack it correctly. Hmm. There we are. Anyway, we had Cub Adventure and Bubble. So I'm going to have a look at um, uh, Devil Dom Doom. Because that's the name that's been sticking out at me the whole time throughout this whole, um, uh, da -da 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 this whole page. I'll just pick one at random then, John. Just sort of like go up and down and just go boop. Uh, okay, I'm, yeah, I'm this little dude. Right, where have we got... Alright, okay. So what we've got here is kind of like Bomberman, uh, crossed with Pac-Man, crossed with it came from the desert. And I can't move to my left for some reason. Well, actually, no, it's not for some reason. I can't. It it's the fucking joystick. It's a very cheap plastic joystick. I wonder if it's possible to actually open this and modify it so at least the joystick's better. Oh, my score appears after... <coughs> right, so yeah, I've definitely got to uh, kill everything. And the ants uh, fire. Oh, no! Oh, okay, I can't fire it anymore, because I've got... Oh, I've actually got to pick up uh, ammunition. Okay. It seems the ants just sort of fire indiscriminately. And anything that gets caught in their path, just... Uh, oh! Just 
dies. I got the feeling this is probably just going to be like an in one of them endurance games where you just play for high score and that's it. Yep. Oh yeah, you can kill more than one with one shot. Brilliant. That's uh, that's always helpful. That's trouble with this joystick. If I press left, there's always a chance that it's going to go in another direction as well. Boom. At least I don't have to worry about wasting shots on just one en on uh, more than one enemy. Because a bullet just goes right through it. Well, at least the bullet um, also uh, destroys the, the the enemy bullet as well. Boom! Right through it. Right, need to get some more... Um, there we go. Right, well, I don't think there's going to be much more to this game. I get... Why can I not go forward? There we go. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be much more to this game. So... We'll just get to about... I don't know. Oh, we could just die right there. <laughs> oh, we've got four lives to go, according to that. Three lives to go, according to that. Okay, that's not too bad. Not the best game. That still goes to Cubs Adventure. But... Sort of all... Uh, not too bad. Uh, otherwise. <laughs> Alright, next page. Uh, Firebase, first defender... Five days, frantic mouse, fruit dish, G Gala, Gala, Galligan, I suppose, uh, garden war, and gate. Anything that sticks out to anyone on this page, throw it out there. Let me suffer, let me find a hidden gem, or, if we're lucky, let me find a uh, an NES clone game. That'd be nice. Mmm. Alright, we've got a couple of suggestions. Five days and garden war. Alright, let's try five days. I don't think it's going to be scary like the ring. Okay, I see an army helmet. This isn't, um... This doesn't look, uh... <laughs> uh, this, this doesn't look good. Ah, uh, okay. Oh, alright, so I'm at a turret. Really badly controlled turret. I can't go the other way! Ugh. Oh dear. Oh, who, who picked this again? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, okay, I got it. Yeah, it's got the same um, clockwise, anti clockwise controls as like micro machines, that sort of game. The thing is, I can't hold the joystick and have him move. Oh, Golden Bennett. That just wasn't the colour of his uniform, that was his health. Yeah, I can't um, just hold the joystick and have him move in the, that direction anyway. I've got to actually press it each time I want to move. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of, um, of Missile Command as well. It's not too dissimilar to the, uh, the bubble game that we just had. <laughs> Ah! This is indeed the new Call of Duty. A lot better than Call of Duty, I don't mind telling you, even if it is shit. Oh yeah, I went there. Ooh, I died. What a shame. <laughs> Anyone who says uh, Garden War is nothing like um, Plants vs. Zombies at all. It's probably like a crossword puzzle that just takes place in the garden and you have to do it before the computer does well it kind of reminds me of cannon fodder as well except cannon fodder's a lot better ofs no oh, don't shoot me oh my god can these things move any fucking slower Actually, I better not ask that, because that'll probably happen. 
Okay, I can't shoot the bullets out of the air, which is a shame. Okay, it's quite, quite clunky to control. It's a shame I've literally got like just these directions to work with because slightly controlling the uh, the angle would be great. Well, that being said, I can attack them at any point in there. But oh god, we got a red guy. What does he take? Three hits, or does he just go down in one like that? Oh, I got faster bullets now. Fantastic. Okay, bit button B does nothing. Right, let's... Oh, we'll let this go for uh, a couple more minutes. Okay, he's a power-up guy. And it don't matter, because I died. <laughs> Alright, that's five days. Uh, what was next? Garden War, and why is that scrambled? There we go. Let's have a look at Garden War, anyone? You want to recommend anything else? Nope. Uh, got a minty cob of cannon water for the Amiga. No fucking system to play it on. Oh, no. Is it a... Um, oh, well, a stupid question, really. I assume it's a floppy disk version. Just get... Um, just get yourself a USB disk reader and uh, Amiga emulator. Job done. Right, let's see what Garden War is all about. John, I hope you picked a good one. I'm getting really tired. Uh, not. Ooh! It's kind of like Biohazard Battle. Sort of. Alright, this has, might not seem too bad actually. It seems to be uh, quite challenging. Not quite a uh, Toho, but you know, it's uh, still good. Uh, attempt to get it on Mega Drive. Shit. What you should do, Tom, is get it on the Amiga CD32. That way, you get like the super duper awesome um, uh, movie intro with the uh, proper uh, "War's Never Been So Much Fun" song. Are these just following the same pattern? Mega Drive Master Race. <laughs> right, so we got ourselves a sort of like. Insect version of Space Invaders cross Xavius cross. Um... Oh, there we go. Sort of thing. <coughs> cross Missile Command. <laughs> and I'm completely missing my shots. Oh no! Alright, oh, this ain't actually too bad. Well done, John. You picked a good one. Oh, I died. <laughs> Oh, are they not cheap? Oh, no. Doesn't surprise me, actually. A lot of shit systems seem to be quite expensive. Because, let's be honest, the CD32, it's, it, it was it, okay, I suppose. I mean, I never played Zul 2 on it and Cannon Fodder. Actually, I don't think if it was Zul 2, I think it was just Zul 1. So I always remember the chicken song on it. Well, that's why I called it anyway. I had no idea what it was actually called. Yeah, they're just kind of following the same pattern. Yay! Challenge! <laughs> oh, I know, you connected with me. Bollocks. Uh, £120 on eBay if you're lucky. Fuck a doodle do. Uh, I'm, I'm alright, thanks. I'll just use an emulator then. Fuck that. I mean, I'd prefer to use an actual CD32. Actually, thinking about it, one of my uncles still got his CD32. Or if he sold it. <laughs> Which would be very unlike him, actually. Alright, well, that, uh, that was Garden War. <laughs> well, we'll go that way, because we'll get to the next page quicker. You get two of them for the same price as Conker's Bad Fur Day. Ah! 
let's have a look. See what what um what's sticking out to me? Not a great deal actually. I'd like to see what fruit dish is all about. I suppose. Oh, we got ourselves a different, uh... Oh, okay, I got it. You just gotta match the fruit. Well, isn't that lovely? And I can't make it fall down any quicker. So we got ourselves a combination of a uh, super fruitful and Tetris. Uh, let's look Galligan. Okay, yeah, I'll do that in a second, John. Cause I. Oh no, I put the wrong fruit in. Oh, I've ruined that smoothie. We're making a lemon smoothie. I. <laughs> this is all this game is. How the hell did someone look at this and think, yeah, this is fun? Then again, I remember what I'm holding in my hand. <laughs> there we go. We'll just go to, we'll, we'll make this lemon smoothie and then I reckon we'll be done with a fruit dish. One more to go and someone's going to have a very, very bitter smoothie. Yes! Stage two, here we come. Not fucking likely. Bye. I'm not fucking collecting 20 lemons. Right, uh, let's have a look at Galligan. Okay. And then we'll go to the next page. Right. This this particular font is starting to become a bit disturbing. And this arrangement here, stage one and the lives and... Oh, it's the same bloody game as the insect one. <laughs> okay, John, technically you've picked two good ones, but... Copies of each other don't count. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I need to stay here for that much longer. I mean, it's a... It's a fun little shooter, I don't mind. Oh, no. I lost all my lives, what a shame. <laughs> Alright, let's look at the... Uh, let's look at the next page. Right, we got Halley Who, Hexapod New, Hexapod War, Labyrinth, Lunarian, Mad Christmas, Motorboat, mm. and Panzer Attack. Go for it, guys. What do you reckon? Mm. Ah, time's it. We're coming up to, uh, to nine o'clock now. Boom, boom. Uh, is everything still sounding fine? Volumes all balanced nicely and what have you? Is everything sounding good in my ear now? So, that's all good. Let's see Mad Christmas. <laughs> Let's see Mad Christmas. I swear to God, if this is the same shooter again... Okay, all right. It's not too, um, not too bad. I can't run much quicker than this. So what we've got here is, for Pete's sake, Christmas edition. Ah, okay. Yeah, don't get the lightning. Uh, labyrinth because of David Bowie, naturally. I had a feeling someone was going to say that. I know what one I'm going to pick if somebody else doesn't pick it already. I'm not sure if, um, yeah, I'm not sure if Father Christmas knows about this already, but this is not the way to uh, distribute presents. Oh no, I lost one. Oh, that was a berm. Special delivery, it's a berm. Is this it? Do I just need to collect high score? Is there no penalty for dropping a present? 
Do I even need to just catch presents? Can I catch a... Oh, I can catch almost anything. I think. Right, yeah, I can catch things, I just can't catch them one right... Uh, oh, okay. Looks like we've got power-ups here. Yeah, it looks like I can't catch them one right after the other. I have no idea why Santa looks so evil. I, th I think he's just given up. And why is he in the clouds anyway? He's not God. He might look like him, but he's not. Oh, we can go a little bit faster thanks to the skates. That's always good. Whee! Uh, now the game's become bearable. <laughs> okay, I don't need to get it right in the very middle. I can just let it stand on the edge. Oh, hell, I could probably just let it touch... Oh, no, I can't let it touch the elf. That's fine. I'm almost afraid to catch that uh, kitty cat. Oh, we're going to a new level. Stage two. I... Did I just lose a life for that? Well, that's bollocks. Well, this is risky. Ah, never mind. Right, so so far we know that the lightning symbol hurts us. I assume the bomb's going to, so I'm not going to pick that up. Obviously. And I assume the little evil cat that comes down. Actually, let's test that. Oh! Oh, no, it slows us down. Oh, that's rude. But I reckon, as a result, that should give us, give us double points. Because, let's be honest, you've really got to be on point to uh, catch the, uh, the presents. We've got a speed power up there, but I can't catch it. Not going to pick up the bomb, because knowing my luck, it probably will explode in my face. And I don't want it to explode in my face. Hey! Right, we'll do this last level and then uh, we'll call this game an end. We'll bring this game to an end. We'll move on to something else. The uh, Labyrinth. Catching the sweeties for the kiddies. But thinking to myself, I have all these sweeties. I'm keeping them to myself. The kids can have Satsumas and coal. They can just be grateful for everything they have already. I have sweeties. And presents. And little kitty cat. It does make it slightly more difficult to pick up um, crazy wezzies. <laughs> oh, there we go. Alright. When that's the end of Mad Christmas, I wasn't quite so sure what was so mad about it, other than um, uh, Father Christmas assuming the role of God and attacking one of his elves. The secret elf training. Right. Rob, if you've picked a bad one, I know where you live. Alright, let's... Oh, three, two, one. Slowest countdown in history. Oh, I took my time taking that and she just went straight ahead anyway. Alright. That's a failure. Okay, so we've got a kind of a, uh, a sort of 8-bit shit choo-choo rocket. Ooh, okay, alright, I got it, yeah. So, to turn, it asks me if I want to turn, and A is yes, B is no. Alright then. Obviously, we want to turn. There we go. We want to turn? Yes, we do. And we make it to the, uh, we make it to the, the goal, I assume. Do we want to turn... Probably yes. No, we don't. Mm, bang. Uh, 
I'm one nil for crap games. <laughs> Alright, we'll give that another go. I'm sure there's definitely a proper way of working around that. At first I was kind of confused about the direction she was heading in. Then I realised she's turning left or right from her perspective, so you got to kind of figure that out. So you've got to like sort of turn your perspective as well. So from where she's obviously looking at, where she'll be turning left or right from that. Wow. So it's not left or right based on your perspective. And boom. <laughs> now I can imagine it's going to be a lot of trial and error. Can I pause it? Uh, no, I can't pause it. Which is not surprising because they don't want you to cheat. Did we make it? I hoped we made it. Oh, yeah, good. I didn't see that in the middle. Uh, that picture on our live camera at the top makes me think of Erica. Who is Erica? She's going to go that way. I thought the signs changed as well. So you don't have the greatest deal of time to like quickly make a decision. And bang, right into the wall. She's sort of like a lemming, really, as well. Right, that's, uh, <laughs> that's Labyrinth. I could spend a little while playing that, but... Jimmy Eda from Pokemon. Well, I don't play Pokemon, do I? I don't know these things. I like, oh my god, John. I've only got Pokemon Silver, and I haven't played that yet. I'll get round to that one year, maybe. Probably sometime in the next decade. Definitely at some point this century. Right. Anything else from this list you reckon, guys? What are you thinking? <coughs> oh, excuse me. That was most rude. Panzer attack. Sexy. <laughs> what is sexy, Tom? Right. I'm, I'm getting quite um, apprehensive towards these types of games that have the simple logo and then just um, have the start and then this kind of stage one uh, appearance. Okay, alright. This actually might not be too bad. Right, that one's not... Oh, okay, that is uh, man antagonistic. Uh, that noise you made. Ah. Oh. Check my Twitter. Oh, do I have to? Oh, I've blown a hole in that one. I tell you what, when we go back to the, uh, to the list, I'll have a look at it in a minute. So I give you guys time to, um, make a decision. The fronts of these tanks kind of look like bears. Ah, shit, get out of the way! Please let me keep the damage that I've done. That'd be nice. Oh, super fantastic. This game seems very simplistic. Shouldn't have much more left to do on this little guy. There we go. Did I? Oh, yes, I did win. I can see you've uh, sent something, Rob, there. I 
I'll do it um, gradually at some point. It's the Tales from Wing Fortress. Yeah, it does kind of look like him a bit, doesn't it? Whoa, and you can't shoot the... Um, Oh, very good, Rob. Yeah, I've just seen the picture you sent me. <laughs> it's so, so true. Ah, bollocks. That's Rob's fault, that is. Game over. Right, well, uh, that's Panzer Attack. I think we've got the idea behind that. Right, let's, uh, let's keep going. Right, one more game from this, I think. Does anybody want to take the uh, the opportunity to have one more game from here? My fault. No, 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 it's your fault, Rob. you you got to learn to take responsibility, mate. Hmm. If no one makes a decision, I'm going with motorboat. <laughs> Simply because. No reason whatsoever. And it looks like we're going with motorboat. Well, I'm hoping we come. I'm hoping this is some sort of like racing uh, boat game. Oh, sorry, Jeffrey, you kind of uh, left it too late. How does how does one? Oh, that's how one moves. Oh my goodness, this moves really quickly. Better than that Road Fighter clone. I think it was, that game was Road Fighter anyway. Do I, do I have to worry about fuel? Right, let's try and go the whole hog. See how well I can do. Okay, not doing too badly. Whoa, this is really fast. Especially if you're not paying attention to win. Whoa, that wasn't too bad, actually. Okay, I kind of like the fast action. Now, yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, bollocks. <laughs> Takes its time to start up, though. So, yeah, it's quite a... Oh, bollocks. It's quite fast-paced. You can take... I think you can take it slowly, maybe. F0 beta version, yeah. I went slowly and I still died. <laughs> yeah, I tend to remember, yeah, I think it's road fire. I'm going to give that another go, actually. I quite like that. I'll tell you what, I haven't played F-Zero in a long ass time. I still need to... bollocks. I still need to, um, well, complete all the F-Zero games that I've got. I've only got, um... F Zero for the snares and um, F Zero do, 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 GX. Balls. I want to see what there's a shit. <laughs> there's a power up a little further up the way. Well, I assume it's a power up anyway. I just want to see what it does. Uh, played GX a little bit last week. Uh, what did I try to do? I tried to play it uh, about a few months back. I tried to download a um, a GameCube save that um, unlocks everything, 
I think it was meant to unlock everything, and in turn unlock um, uh, F Zero AX or at least the tracks or something along those lines. But the the save didn't work, so I was a little disappointed. Did you get N64? Did you get F Zero on the N64? I'd like to get F Zero on the N64 actually. I think you can get that on Virtual Console, so I might do that. Right, got a few more pages to go. Right, we're done with this page now. Next up, Pentabase, Pobble, Polar Bat, r r Rural Goblin, Robot, Season Garden, Shrew Mouse, and Snowball. What do you guys think? What would you like? Robot. Just robot. Oh, I got a notification on my, uh, on the telephone. Oh, someone's uploading a new video. Blackout TV. Very nice. I'll watch that in a little while. Alright, let's have a look at robot. See if it's, uh, any good. Dig in the music. Kind of. Oh, for the love of God, it's the same fucking type of game again. Oh, if only Malk was here. <laughs> right, so it's going to turn right from his perspective. Oh my God, that looks like a bastardized Dizzy. Okay, yep, yeah, and splat. Indeed, Labyrinth returns. Oh, okay, yeah, the signs do change. They do change. Yes, because you opt to turn. And you change the sign as a result. There we go. I actually remember the solution to this one. So it depends if you want to play as an egg robot who looks like Dizzy on a really, really bad day or as just an ordinary girl. Uh, no, I don't want to turn. There we are. We'll go right. Then we'll go right again. Up. And then we'll go right again, and then we'll go left, and then he'll go up and across. There we go. That wasn't too bad this time. And she did it this time. Hooray! I left to make one decision. Super fantastic. Right. Right. Okay. Yep. And across. Do I change my perspective? Do I want to go right? Probably. There we go. And up, and he'll go left, right, then we'll go right, I want to turn that, there we go, so I don't want him going into the wall, then we'll go right again, up, and then right once more, no, I want to go left, and then left again, there we are, once you get the hang of it, it's actually, it's alright, you can work it out, you need to exercise your brain muscle a little bit, and cock your head a bit, so you can actually work out which direction he's meant to be going in. Which is a shame, this is not on a handheld. Although you could put it on a handheld TV. Uh, yes, I want to turn that, because I want him going into the wall. Right, down. The uh, yes. There we go. No, it was your fault, Rob. You still need to take responsibility for your original mistake. Don't want to turn that, want to go up and then left. Boom! There we go! I'd like to see DSP play this. You wouldn't have a fucking clue. Up, right, across. Do I... Okay, yep, do I want to turn? Yes, because I don't want to go into the wall. 
Nope. You gonna make split second decisions? Probably. This could be a mistake. This was a mistake. Eh. Oh yeah, you gotta blame Kevin. Always gotta blame Kevin. Perhaps it's a better idea that he doesn't actually go up. Well, that he doesn't go too fast, that's what I was meant to say. Right, I'm going to say no this time. Up and across. Yep, that's going to... Uh, yes. I've got to remember to reverse my perspective. Up. Left. Well, we'll do it after this. We'll, we'll leave this game after this one. It's going to go down and then across and splat into the wall. Ah, oh, I was doing really well. <laughs> Excuse me. Fuck you, robot. No. Uh, <coughs> right, so we did robot. What else do you reckon in then, guys? Pentabase, Pobble, Polar Bat. Rural Goblin, Season Garden, Shrew Mouse, or Snowball. I'm good either way. Because I'm just as um, blind to these games as you guys are. <sighs> oh, excuse me. Having a little stretch, really? See, I reckon... I reckon Snowball is going to be like another shooting game where you've probably got like you're playing as like a, a heavily armored battle tank and you're um, throwing snowballs up at the uh, falling snowmen that are attacking you and can destroy your heavily armored tank with frozen water. Uh, Pobble is probably Bubble. You could be right actually. Let's have a little look. Ooh. If it involves a spaceship, probably not. Oh, it's um, F0. I wonder what Polar Bat is. Wonder no more, Jeffrey. I'll probably jump onto it in a minute. Fucking clones. Right. So the first... Um, the first stream of the Retro TV minigames was uh, NES clones. This one is shitty 8-bit games with duplicates. I keep going into that fucking cloud. <laughs> there we go. I was just about to say, Cloud, you will taunt me no more. Clone clones, yeah. Wow. Imagine being the clone of a clone. I don't know how you'd feel about that kind of thing. Ah! Well, obviously it seems to run on a fuel system, the same as road fire, so... Yeah, we don't need to worry about that anymore. <laughs> Right, let's have a look at uh, Polar Bat then. Interesting. I'm not going to let this be any indication of what the game is like, so I very much doubt it's a boxing game. Oh! 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 Oh, okay! Can I not? Oh, it just takes its time to restart the level. Alright, this isn't too bad, actually. Alright, see, so we shoot the bats. Can we shoot the... No, we can't shoot that. But we do need to jump over that. Cool! Alright. Kind of understand why it's called Polar Bat now. I don't know if it's just me being shit. It's quite hard to time you time your shots on the bats because they run at the same speed as you so if you've missed your shot already then you ain't catching up to them Ooh. 
Why are you wearing a pyjama? Uh, because this is probably a nightmare for the ball guy. And if he doesn't wake up soon, he's going to die. Right, so what I think I probably want to do is sh keep an eye on the actual bats and shoot them with intent and sort of keep an eye on my lower peripheral vision for if the snowball heads in my direction and at the same time be careful of the icicles that are coming down. The most dynamic game we've had so far, you're probably right. Oh my god, we've got two snowballs! And I didn't stand a chance. See, I've got two lives left to go. We'll change the game after that. Oh, I can't even... Well, I probably can jump over the balls preemptively. But much like everything else in this game, I've got to time it right. Alright, one life to go. Oh, we'll jump out after... After that life. Oh, no, that other ball got me. Bollocks. Like how the pajamas flashes when you die. Over! Over what? I like how the music just sort of like tries to tries to end but continues. Right, that was Polar Bat. <laughs> no, nah, I've gone back too far. Right. Okay, tell you what, we'll play one more on here. I'm thinking Season Garden, because that sounds really stupid. I got a feeling I'm going to about to be proved correct. It's bloody whack a -mole. Not sure if this music is even meant to be anything. Shit. It's no hedgehog hammer, that's for sure. In the summertime, when the weather is high, you can stretch right up and touch the sky. That's all I know, I don't know, I don't know the rest of the lyrics. Oh, did I just kill a Pokemon there? Am I killing Pokemon? Or Pokemon knockoffs? This music definitely sounds like it's meant to be something actually proper. Some, an established piece of music, but I can't quite put my finger on it. It stops anyway. Time over. Oh, okay, game over. Oh, no, I ain't having that. I'm playing that again. I don't know if there's a certain amount, well, obviously, probably is a certain amount of points or hits you need to get. Unfortunately, it's not very, uh, not very well indicated. In fact, it's not indicated at all. I haven't actually played a decent whack-a-mole game for ages. Oh, okay, I, I seem to have, um, met the quotient on that. I'm not entirely sure how. And you have literally until their pixels leave their leave the screen to hit them. So don't worry too much if you have, if you haven't hit them on their on their way down. As long as they're still literally visible, you can still get them. Time over. Again, there's no real indication of how much I was actually meant to get on that. Alright guys, well, uh, move on to the next page. Right, about a quarter of the way through now. Uh, excuse me, halfway through now. Uh, 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 oh, so sorry guys. Yeah, we ain't got many pages left to go. I okay, we can do it in about half hour, give or take. If we do, like, a couple of games per page. Right, guys, what do you reckon? Starfighter, Straff. 
Small Dinosaur, Silent Hunter, The Archer, Twin Cards, Dominoes, don't pick Dominoes, or Warrior. Oh, no. Going a bit too, uh, a bit too far forward. I actually really would like to open this up, the actual device itself, and just see what's inside. See how, uh, if I can make any sort of cool modification to it without killing it. Damn it, Jeffrey, I told you not to pick dominoes. Damn it, John, I told you not to pick dominoes, you bastards. <laughs> We're going to have a look at Warrior first. I'm not holding my hopes up this is going to be some sort of Ninja Gaiden game. Damn it, Tom! Okay, so it's kind of like that game from earlier. We had to shoot the, uh, the ant. The ants and the, all the other things. The chat has spoken. Yeah, you bastards. <laughs> Why can I not go across? God damn it. It's this fucking joystick. There we go. Yeah, I'm blaming the joystick. I don't care. It's a cheap joystick anyway, so... i got to go all the way down the bottom. There we go. Right, now I've got my AK-47, which only fires one shot. Oh... What's that tool co what's that tool called called that's in oh fuck that's in a a plus shape and is used to unscrew um uh, nuts and whatnot why can't I move is is it game over oh no it's not so I can't remember for the name for me for the life of me what it's called because that tank that pink tank there with the plus on it kind of reminds me of it and this oh my god okay do, do i not lose lives or health by just by being here no jeffrey not a screwdriver uh, i'm sure there's a particular name for it It's, uh, the controls in this are actually quite, quite horrendous. But it's not the cheap. The the joystick really doesn't help much. But oh my god, it's really hard to just go right across. There we go. You got to be really conscious of where the joystick is. I know what you mean, but I can't remember it. Oh well, that's not much bloody good, is it? You're fired, Rob. Ah. Oh! I'm going to have to go onto Google for this, aren't I? Gotta get my machine gun! There we are. After Matt Kalishnikov. Oh, no, 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 go away. Uh, no, balloons! You don't do, you don't kill me! That, that's not what balloons are all about. They're, they're to bring happiness to people. They don't run me over. Ah, I couldn't go. I could not go across. A uh, lug wrench. That's what I was trying to think of. A lug wrench. That's what that thing looked like. Right. Right, I'm just going to say this right now. I hate you lot. <laughs> With love, obviously, but I hate you lot. God, Domino's is so boring. 
<laughs> no balloons. <laughs> yeah, it's a shame I'm not streaming on Twitch because that's something you could probably put in the quote bot. Go on. <laughs> Look out everyone, Jamie has joined the stream. How you doing, mate? Unless Mark unless it's Mark and he's be and he's drunk and he's being extra spicy tonight. This is the retro mini T V games uh playing device a very cheap thing that i bought from tk maxx for four pounds it's got 208 bit games on it i'm playing through the last 10 stages or rather the last 10 pages on this thing and there we go and it seems like the first half of this i sort of like the first half of the 200 games on this is Made up of shitty 8-bit games and um, pfft, NES clones of certain games. And um, yeah, it seems like this current half that I'm playing through is just uh, shitty 8-bit games with clones of each other. As uh, Malk predicted correctly <laughs> in the first stream of this. And here I am, stuck playing dominoes. Did I win? Oh, sweet. Go on. Seriously, I'm not 60 years old, sitting in the pub. Yet. Here, Albert, why do they call him Knock Knock? Because he's a very bad dominoes player. Okay, it gives me the opportunity to pass when I can't pass, when I don't have a go. I assume I got 27 points versus his 20, I assume? Probably. Go on. Right, we'll have one more round of dominoes. And then we'll move on to, comparatively, a real game. A real video game. Oh, excuse me. Right. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. How exciting is Domino's, guys? <laughs> okay, I can't, I can't go. I can go there. It's sort of semi-automatic, really. Well, no, it's practically automatic. It's all like automatically highlights the uh, Domino that you might want to use. Well, actually, no, it doesn't, no. If you can't go, you can't go. Did I win? Probably. Oh no. Uh, computer won two games and I won one game. Pip count. I don't know what a fucking pip count is. We're going home. Uh. Right, that's Domino's. Thank you very much, guys. That was uh, enthralling. Right. I right, did twin cards and... No, we didn't. We did dominoes and warriors. So let's uh, move on to the next page. We got we got Abscondi, Eather Cruiser, Aim Cruise, Animal Contest, Bug Catcher, Busy Bar, Candy Workshop, or Contest. Take it away, guys. Which one's your fancy? Uh, will you do a vlog afterwards where you set it on fire? Um, probably not. I wanted to do that with my um, my 80 games Mega Drive player that I bought years ago, but the damn thing fucking uh, 
the, the ribbon cable that connected the main board to the controller ports actually disintegrated. So I was like, oh, for fuck's sake. So I just fucking smashed it right there and then. <sighs> this needs to be an eSport. Really? <laughs> okay. Jamie's up for Animal Contest. Let's have a little look at that then. And I think you'll find Animal Contest is one word. So there. And you smash it with a hammer <laughs> instead. Probably. Right, let's have a look at Animal Contest. If this is nothing like the arcade game Growl, I will be most upset. Elephant and mouse. Kitty cat and warthog. Kitty cat and warthog. What the fuck am I playing? Wolf and lion. Warthog. Doggy wuggy. Elephant. Lion? The fuck am I playing? It's exactly like Growl. Oh yeah. Okay now I've got Doggy Woggy and a Rhino. Wolf and Dog and uh, Elephant. I'd rather play Growl. In fact Growl's a very fucking good game. Tiger and a Lion. Mouse and Kitty Cat. Don't understand what I'm meant to be doing. More like the card game War. I've never heard of that, so... So I don't play too many card games, so... Um... Animal Contest! <laughs> you press a button and the thing happens game. This is like press A to perhaps win. That's literally the only button that I can press. Uh, um, yay! Is this a two-player game? Well, it's probably originally a two-player game, but you can't have a two-player game when you've only got one device with one joystick attached to it. Warthog! Warthog! Doggy Woggy! Kitty Cat! Elephant beat Rhino. Elephant beats Lion? Probably. Cat beats Squirrel. Lion beats wolf. It's a draw. Oh, uh, all right. I kind of get it now. Animals are in contest with each other, depending on. With their animalness. Right. Okay. That could take forever to get to the fucking end. <laughs> so let's move on. Wow. I suppose it took me that long to catch on to what the fuck was going on. I think I was just dumbfounded by the fact that I was just pressing A and something was happening. <sighs> Alright guys. What do we fancy next? With the exception of Animal Contest. Uh, did anyone choose anything in the meantime? No, no you didn't. <laughs> really, Jamie? Really? Now do regular contest. Fuck off. <laughs> Play mowing, eh? Did you see something before? We'll, we'll get to that page in a minute, Tom. You're being very impatient. Hey! Now, let's have a look at regular contest. 
Busy Bear has to be a Tapper clone. It probably could be, actually. i tell you what, I would really like it to be a Tapper clone. <laughs> it best be the OG Grass Cutting Simulator. There's a Grass Cutting Simulator actually out there for the ZX Spectrum. Go find that. Actually... I wouldn't be surprised if there's an actual proper lawnmower simulator game out there. Is this computer actually doing anything? It kind of reminds me of one of those really bad in television games. Alright, my bullet's just homing towards him. He's got a secondary bar? That's cheating. Ah. Okay, so he's dependent on that thing hitting me. Kind of reminds me of Doomsday Zone. When all in yes, in television games were very bad. And I should know, so I've got in television lives for the PlayStation 2. And I played quite a few in television games on that. And I've also got some in television games on the... Um, uh, on the uh, uh, game room uh, download for the Xbox 360. Yeah, I'd like to start stage three, please. There we go. All right, this green thing looks like a monkey head. I got kind of like, what did I get hit by? Did I get hit by him? Fuck off. I'm getting a bit spicy up in this stream now. <laughs> right, I can keep a good distance away from him if I need to. Just as long as his, uh, his fireballs don't hit me. Alright, cool. Alright, this game ain't too bad. Hehehe. <laughs> In television lives. It could be in television lives. Unless I suppose if how you're told which variant of L I V L I V E S it is. You just go with a uh, who whoever pronounces it which way. No, in television lives, in television lives. Could be either one to be honest with you. Well, this one ain't too bad. <laughs> Pronounce it lives, not lives. Or lives, not lives. Fucking hell, Tom. See, this looks like a, gold this looks like a golden cow head. I right, just gotta be careful, because he's got two fireballs, so. Oh, for the love of fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Ah. Hmm. So have you not been working today then, Jamie, if you had the uh, the bank holiday off? Shit, shit, that's getting really fast now. Do I not have a... I don't seem to have a life counter, because I've died quite a bit now. I guess it's just one of those games that just tests your endurance, I suppose. Boom, shake the room. <laughs> Bank holiday, pants and PlayStation. I'm all about pants and PlayStation day. Which reminds me, I need to finish off um, trophy hunting on uh, New and Tasty. I love New and Tasty. Ah. Yeah, I don't seem to have a life count on this. So I could go for as long as I want. I can say this uh, this robot here looks like a uh, robotic version of KK Slider. 
All right, there we are. I think, I think, I think we'll, uh, there we go. I think we'll, uh, we'll end that there, because that can get quite repetitive. Right, well, that was contest, so, uh, all right, Jeffy, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't, um, <laughs> that wasn't anything like, um, uh, animal contest. Let's move on to the next page. I want to try and get this done in about 10 minutes or so. Give or take. Uh, right, what do you guys reckon you want up this time? Cookie, Labyrinth, Crystal Blast, Deformable, Dejectile, Egg Contest, Escape Wave, Fair's Treasure, or Fated Pirate? <sighs> and say what while you sorry about that if you, while you guys are quickly picking I'm just gonna grab myself a quick <laughs> more contests no more contests please I got myself quick glass of water all right okay we'll do fair's treasure and we'll do egg contest not a problem right let's see how we go oh sorry it's fairy's treasure okay what does one have to do here Oh, alright, okay, I get it. You have to aim the fairy to get the, uh... The Master System Chaos Emeralds from Sonic Chaos. Kind of like Peggle in a way. Except not. Alright, we've got a time limit. Emp's treasure. Oh, no, obviously the rocks... Uh, takes a little while to, uh... Fly back. Oh, that's a shame. Alright, let me get that bag of monies. Or I could just get another rock, because that was clearly what I was aiming at. Hurry up, you bitch! Or at least get one bit of treasure. And she completely flies past it. <laughs> okay, some of these games haven't been too bad. At least you're getting points for everything you're picking up. Yay, we got treasure! Peggle is the fucking best thing ever. I do like Peggle. I do miss the uh, multiplayer sessions I used to have on that. And I exploded. So apparently if you don't collect enough uh, treasure, your fairy explodes. Wow. Got the money. Oh, Peggle is very addictive. I haven't played it in single player for a hell of a long time because it's all about that multiplayer. I always like using the rabbit because I like just having other people's power ups. That's what that was right there. Uh, does anyone remember that crazy ass announcement for Peggle 2? I remember it and I fucking loved it. I thought it was brilliant. I don't want to pick up that little rock. I can't remember exactly what he said in the lead up to uh, the announcement, but oh, it was brilliant. Remember, coming soon, Peggle 2! <laughs> Fantastic. You know, he may have been he may have been ripped to pieces for it, but uh, that was brilliant. That that E3 was amazing. If I remember rightly, wasn't that the same E3 where we had um, 
uh, Tak Fuji on stage for Konami, uh, talking about 99 Nights 2 and the one million troops. Oh, brilliant. They just... I'm gonna take a... Yeah, I thought that bomb was gonna happen. They just don't do E3 the same anymore. Oh, and I fly right fucking past it. What's this little white thing here on the left hand side between the three boulders? And that one as well on the right of the uh, three boulders as well. I flew past it again! What the fuck? Seriously! <coughs> and I'm gonna fly past it again. Fuck! Oh no, I, I picked up a boulder. Whoop de doo! You lacist. Oh, very good. <laughs> oh, can I make it there in time? Nope, I exploded. What a shame. Right, what was the uh, next one? Do, 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 do. Uh, egg contest. This should be fun. If this is not either a clone of Chucky Egg or Dizzy, I'm going to be very upset. Interesting. Oh, okay, we got catch the... Oh, that's right, the screen doesn't scroll, that's okay, that's that's fine. Oh, we got to catch the eggs. Obviously, we can't catch those ones. Um, <laughs> going off to the conveyor belt on the bottom right, because they just go off the screen completely. New Dizzy is so sexy. Oh, what the NES Dizzy? I still haven't played that yet. I've downloaded the uh, I've downloaded the ROM for it. Thank you very much, Oliver Twins. Right, so I just need to sort of hang around here. Yeah, this is kind of following the same pattern, really. Unless, hang about. Oh, I can change the direction. Oh, that's amazing. Yeah, I literally, literally just spotted that, Jamie. There we go, now we're talking. Need the brown ones only. I, I, I'd like to think that, you know, the white ones are, you know, will be helpful as well. Oh, okay, no, I can see, uh, I can see the cannon on the top, um, top left corner. Wow, what a haul. I'm glad you guys are spotting this rather than me. But he's not dropping the brown ones. <coughs> or at least hardly dropping the brown ones. It seems to me that collecting the white eggs, you seem to get a certain amount and it drops. It drops how many you need on the other side, maybe. Right, so currently we're on 39, now we've got 20, uh, excuse me, we're on 30, now we've got 29. Oh, one of them, one of them cracked, shit. He's coming to take me away, haha. -ha. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's kind of, um, and this game really is. It's uh, not great. I mean, I'm not overly, uh, not overly uh, keen on collectathons as it is. And this is just like eggs. <laughs> this is it is, isn't it, Tom? <laughs> we'll say we switch it up a little bit, shall we? Yeah, uh, ain't got uh, much longer to go. Mm, do, 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 do. 
So anyway, we'll do Fate Pilot, then we'll move on to the next, um, on to the, the next one. I very much doubt this is going to be, um, anything like King's Quest 5, I think it is? This is wank. You are actually correct, Jamie. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to aim at the bloody things, which I'm assuming I'm trying to do, but it's just firing off bullets in like up and up and down. Cracking game though. Was that another pun? Really? 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 Right guys, next page. Let's see we got three more pages to go, so that's about six games. Yes, there we go. Right. Go for it guys, Final Blood, Fish Story, Fling Ball, Forest Adventure, Fruit Gift, Ghost Castle, Golden Bird, and Greeds. Fucking puns, seriously. Like the worst thing ever are puns. I hate them. I hate them, I tell ya. Greeds. Oh, hello, John. Nice to see you. Uh, you're still awake. <laughs> Final blood. I want a shitty street fighter. <laughs> All right. Well, we'll go down to uh, Greeds first. Has that popped up first? Let's see what that's like. Okay, we got ourselves a snake game, snake and diamond game. I'm hoping this is like snake. I got my wish. Yay! Oh, this takes me back. Not only playing this on the uh, the good old Nokia uh, 32 and 3310, and playing it on the old um, IBM computers in the library at school. Yeah, so I think we know. Um, I think we know what it's all about. A new lot making egg puns. Seriously, you guys need to stop. Seriously. <laughs> Only because I can't make good egg puns, so... Ah! up oh, there we go. I actually posted on Twitter, um... What was that, a few months ago? An arcade version of Snake? It was a, uh, ticket machine arcade. I remember winning because the uh, ticket machine was quite new at the time, so no one had quite hit the high score yet. And if I remember rightly, I think you needed about 80 points at the time to get 500 tickets. Took me a few goes, but I got those 500 tickets. I think I got a total of about 600 odd tickets just from playing it like a handful of times brain is scrambled. Oh, for fuck's sake, Tom. Pretty fried too. Ugh. Well, well, that's, uh, that's Snake, so we can just exit out of that now. Pretty much what you'd expect from Snake. Uh, what else did we have? We had uh, Final Blood, because Jeffrey wanted a shitty Street Fighter. Is this the same music? Final Blood! Ooh, this looks interesting. It's not Street Fighter at all. It's a Pew Pew tank game. It's not Operation Wolf. Okay, I can't go up or down. I can go, go left and right. Joystick dependent. Uh, 
Hello? Is there anybody out there that I can shoot? Oh, hello! Look out, it's Bowser's convoy from Super Mario Bros. 3. Or rather, his armada. That's probably the wrong word as well. His fleet. We'll go with that. Hello? Hello? I really can't complain about this. I paid four pounds for this. I really have got my money's worth. Well, I can't remember how much the, uh, the actual retail price was. I mean, I've got the box up there in the corner, but I can't fully see the label from where I am. Oh, for fuck's sake. Hello? This isn't much of a war. I see part of the tank loading. And I, I see like the very front of the, uh, the caterpillar track. And I keep thinking it's a little dog. And then the rest of the tank loads in, and, and it's not a little dog. It's like I'm interrupting somebody's Oregon trail. Catherine was destroyed by a tank. <laughs> Jesse was blown away by gunfire. Time's slowly running out. Well, Jeffrey, you got a shitty game, all right. I'm, I'm sorry it's not Street Fighter, but it's a shitty game nonetheless. All right, that's enough of that. Ooh. Right, guys, two more pages to go. Four more games. Let's go. What ones you want? Hammer now. Happy match. Ice Ocean, IQ Champion, Island, Jumping Kid, Lightning, or Little Witch. Mm. Tom, don't you dare bring chicken into this. <laughs> Death Road to Canada and Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. I think I've heard of Super Amazing Wagon Adventure. I think. I actually remember playing a, a similar game at school on the old uh, BBC Micros. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I think it was called Into the Unknown. It was a similar sort of thing to Oregon's Trail, but it was uh, based on a ship instead. And obviously you had to... I think uh, you were travelling to what was um, the New World when uh, America was discovered. I think it was something like that anyway. I only played it like once and that was it. Steam games and they're real good. Alright, let's have a look. See, uh, let's go for hammer and nail. We'll see if I'm an IQ champion. I very much doubt that. <laughs> we'll do hammer and nail first. Oh, okay, uh, it might be that I've got to be patient to wait for the nails to over to go over the holes. You're just banging, banging it out of frustration. Ah! So it's kind of like whack-a-mole, but it's moving. Obviously, you know, the targets are moving. God knows where. Oh, fuck. So I can't tell which... There we are. Can't tell which fucking gap I'm over because there's no shadow. Which would be really nice. i tell you what, we'll do this one stage. And then we'll move on to see if I'm an IQ champ. 
Spoiler warning, guys. No. <laughs> Oh, there we are. It's just a case of being patient, really. And just waiting for... Waiting for the... Na oh, there was one up there. There we are. And just waiting for the nails to come over the cracks. Oh, God! Dang it! Alright, two more to go. And uh, we'll move on. Wow. Look at the stupid face on that hammer as well. Will you go over the hole? Seriously, get in there. Oh, for the love of God. Okay. Go on. You know you want it. Oh. See, this is why I don't play RPGs, because, you know, this is a game that relies heavily on luck and the computer not being a dick. Ugh. Right, bollocks to this. <laughs> My patience is only so, so long, so much. Right, IQ champion, here we go. Time to prove how stupid I am. <coughs> 2003 so this game's already 14 years old IQ champion! Presents to start. Let's have a look at that gold bee. Assuming that's a bee. It seems to be that shooters in this game seem to be the only game that seems to work well enough. This uh, this this kind of looks like well the bottom screen at least kind of looks like a a bloody Atari game. Bang! Yippee! <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure I've proved my IQ on this one. Fuck a doodle do. I think you can have an IQ of a glass of water and you'll be fine. Oop, sorry. Keep knocking into my bloody uh, headset mic. Right, that's about it for IQ Champion. <laughs> wow. Let's see, we did... What did we do? <laughs> Game's IQ is a single digit, yeah. Ah, that's right, yeah, we did Hammer and Nail, didn't we? And uh, IQ Champion. Right, guys. Oh, you want to see Lu uh, Little Witch Luigi, man? Okay, no worries. But we've got the last page to go as well. So, have a little look at this list, guys. See if there's anything on there you want. Whilst I have a look at Little Witch. I thought that was going to be the intro to Arkanoid 1. Do 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 do
Now I'm questioning whether it was Arkanoid 1 that I was just singing, and this seems to be Defender! Ah, mixed with a bit of Bewitched! Hmm, that's weird. You... Hmm. Ah! It's really hard to control her and her broomstick. Because you got the wind going against you, so you got to turn. Okay, you can't do anything like that. Alright, hello, John. Take it easy, bud. Oh, stray bullet. No. All right, one more life to go. Is it, you got the wind going against you. So if I just let it go, she blows that way. And if I turn around, she blows that way. So it's just a case of. Ah. Uh. Oh. Yeah, it's just a case of trying to push against the wind. And I promise you that does say game over. Uh. Last, last page. Magic Egg. Cool. Any more for any more. I'll do like one or two more games on this. And then that's it. We've actually gone through all ten pages. Albeit two or three games per page. But, uh, excuse me, all twenty pages. Ten pages in this game. Magic Egg? Oh no, this looks familiar. What happens if I just leave it? Not a lot. Yay! <laughs> I'm hoping Eternal Headwind will be much better than this. I would actually like to do an experiment to see if children would actually like this machine and the games contained on it. Can't quite tell if the music's catchy or not. Sort of like a kid's react. Sort of, yeah. Alright, here we got another 500 points to go. 300 points. Oh! Oh, okay, they're little star men. They're, they're good guys. Alright, that's enough of that. Right. Right, we'll make Eternal Headwind. I don't even know where you saw Eternal Headwind. It's not on this page. Yeah, unless you're just making stuff up. Huh? Shishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishishish
Because she's a princess, not a queen. So, your highness. What the hell got me? Go away, you evil little mice. Look, okay. Ah, oh, no. And that's it. Game over. <laughs> Alright guys, I think we'll leave it there now. I think you found in the manhole, it's possible I suppose. That is that guys. The 200 games in one. I think we've probably looked at about 50 to 60 of those games. Um, in the first stream, a lot of them, well, a good chunk of them were NES clones. In this stream, we had uh, sort of shitty games with duplicates of each other here and there. And uh, yeah. For £4, I suppose it isn't really that bad. In fact, actually, whilst I've got it in mind, and whilst I can now actually get up to do it, I'm going to quickly just... Hang on a second, guys. I'm right, just going to quickly... Yeah, its recommended retail price was £13. £13 for this. I don't fucking think so. <laughs> right, guys, so... Um... Yeah, uh, until next time, thank you very much for watching, thank you very much for tuning in, and I shall see you on Monday. Take care of yourselves, and thanks for watching.